Hey, it's Alex from Android Central, and today it's time to talk about nano memory. So everyone knows microSD, right? There's been a trend away from expandable storage in many Android phones over the past few years, but a lot of big names, including Samsung and LG, still ship with that all-important SD slot. That means you can easily offload photos, music, podcasts, anything that might take up a lot of space on that precious internal storage. The problem is, in smartphone engineering terms, this tiny SD card is actually pretty huge, not just in terms of the size of the slot, but also the space it takes up with the contacts on the PCB. So Huawei's solution has been to shrink down SD storage even further. For all practical purposes, all a nano memory card is, is a micro SD shrunken down into the footprint of a nano SIM card. As you can see here, the physical size is identical, but the gold contacts on the back are a little different. Right now, nano memory is only supported on a handful of high-end Huawei phones, the Mate 20, Mate 20X, and Mate 20 Pro. It's very likely it'll be supported in the upcoming P30 phones as well. The way it works is pretty simple. The second SIM slot in these phones doubles as a nano memory slot. You can see it here marked as NM. So in dual SIM models, you can either use two SIMs or a single SIM and a single nano memory card. It's not a whole lot different to the so-called hybrid slots in some phones right now, which can take either a second SIM or a micro SD. Only, of course, this approach takes up much less space inside the phone. And by the way, a nano memory card will only work in that second slot. If you put it in a SIM1 slot, it won't be recognized. Nano memory cards are currently on sale in China as well as the UK on Amazon. Right now, your only real options are 128 or 256 gig Huawei branded cards with up to 90 megs per second speeds. Unsurprisingly, these are comparatively more expensive than the same spec of micro SD. You are paying for that miniaturization after all. And Huawei says it'll open up nano memory to other vendors for free, but who knows whether it'll actually take off among the Samsungs or LGs of the world. For now, this is very much a Huawei-only accessory. You're buying Huawei's card to use in your Huawei phone. If you're not using a second SIM in your Mate 20, it's a relatively inexpensive way to double up on storage. 128 gigabytes is a lot of downloaded Netflix or podcasts or music, and on a phone like the Mate 20X in particular with its enormous screen, it's actually a great fit. In terms of speeds, the 128 gig card that Huawei sent us approached but never quite met the quoted max speed of 90 megs per second. In sequential reads and writes, we saw speeds of around 60 meg per second read and 80 meg per second writes. Random read and write speeds fell to between 13 and 14 megabytes per second. In any case, that's more than fast enough for most things that you're going to be doing on a phone. When I use a card like this in a phone, I'm not loading apps onto there. Mainly, it's just a place to store music and podcasts and maybe a bunch of photos so they're not eating into the phone's internal flash. So this is basically just a smaller version of something we've had for years in the Android world, but it does at least show that there's one manufacturer out there thinking about the future of expandable storage in a phone. Check the link in the description to buy the 128GB nano memory card we've shown in this video, which I'm using in the Mate 20X right now. That's it, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss what's coming next from Huawei at Mobile World Congress and beyond. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.